What's up, friends of the good boots? This is Money, and welcome to the Wasp Spectre here. Fully loaded and maxed Wasp guns with a corrosion damage that are becoming increasingly more useful with the more resistance that is on the battlefield. Like, for example, the Leech Robot, right? Uh, you know that I made a video where I asked people not to fire at leeches that are leeching someone because, you know, they will do more damage to their own team due to the leeching back ability of the leech. Now, with the corrosion weapons that you see right here, you can actually fire at leeches and I'm doing this all the time. Although there is a decent a high initial hit damage with the hit of the cannon uh, there is also a following in high uh, corrosion damage from the shot and that corrosion is exactly what will allow you to do a lot of damage to a leeching leech through his resistance right and so I decided to give this weapon another test they also increased the accuracy of wasp with one of the recent updates right which is yet another reason to run this um, this setup now and uh, so yeah, with more accuracy this thing is definitely more useful, although I will be spotting a few really well missed shots ap across this video too. So the weapon is still not perfect, it still needs a little bit of uh, dialing in somehow from Pixonic if possible because there are some weird things, usually related to lag I think, where the weapon simply misses. Which does not happen for Scourge or Calamity or something, you know? Um, but here on uh, Power Plant, which still is one of my favorite maps here, uh, you can uh, you can shoot very well from up this building with 600 meters range. Of course, the weapon requires you to shoot down energy shields first, which makes it inefficient. For example, against uh, uh, Ancelots, because you you don't you don't break physical shields and you don't break energy shields with it, or you bypass them. Um, and of course, high cheese, for example, right? Uh, but I like the weapon, I like the sound effect, I like the uh, the style of doing the additional damage, and we're having a look at free for all in a few seconds. Look, boom, boom, boom. Only the third, we're starting to do damage after the third shot or so. Look, he's flying up, and this will happen constantly when you fire at flying out chuns. You just can't hit them right. Okay, here, quantum radar, boom, perfect shot, perfect hit. No damage. Perfect. Okay, the second one was a miss. Third shot hits and then it counts. And and that will hit happen a lot. Um, and I, and you'll see that a lot on this video. And by the way, this right now is uh, Beacon Rush. And uh, in a few seconds, we're jumping into Free For All. And I'm gonna show you tons of kills where the corrosion damage kills the enemy. This is going to be insane, ladies and gentlemen. So stay tuned here for the Free For All match coming up in a second. Oh, and by the way, if you like the content, you want to see more, and, uh, and you know, then subscribe to the channel right here if you haven't done that yet. And also, if you like, share this video with your friends who you know play War Robots. Who knows, maybe they're gonna be enjoying this one as well. Boom, godlike already. I should bring the godlike sunglasses, I guess. <laughs> titan time. Let's fire at that titan. Ow, 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 I'm getting hit pretty hard by some uh, Ares from the side okay and uh, apparently my my stealth jump was too late but you know what let's take revenge from the Ares here with the wasp cannon and a calamity uh, falcon I think just took down my last stand Arr. I, but you know what? The Falcon again is a robot that has a lot of resistance that really doesn't want you to hit it with a fat with a wasp cannon. And so there he is. You see him there hiding behind this little position, trying not to get hit by the wasp. And um, one thing I still need to figure out here. Boom, miss. Boom. Okay, we hit now. But um, actually, this time it, it fired rather well. It's just that I think I missed a shot. Because you do have to aim very accurately with a weapon, or actually slightly ahead of the enemy even, uh, to make it uh, hit r right. Here we go. Boom. Last stand. And boom. After the last stand, the Aochun is down. What is this? Oh, I think this was a Cerberus. And it's awesome now with the giveaway and all that that we had, we're seeing increasingly more and more uh, Cerberus on the battlefield, which are robots that can be killed super fast if you have more than one guy shooting it. But in a one-on-one, -on -one, the Cerberus will keep you busy for quite a while. 
And by the way, you can also run the uh, corrosion weapons on the Cerberus, which I've done also. Um, very interesting combo because the Cerberus itself, with its ability, already adds corrosion to the enemy, locks down and suppresses. And then you have corrosion weapon with Viper and Wasp and Wasp. In the upper right corner, if you haven't yet seen this video, ladies and gents. So let's jump up here and fire at that Titan. Boom, boom, boom. Again, also a really nice position up here because with this ventilation system or whatever it is that's behind us right now, wherever someone shoots you from, usually you can always stay in safety unless they shoot you from different directions and it's more than one guy, then obviously it might not work. Oh, I can't wait to show you the free fall match coming up. It's going to be good. I I I've already played this yesterday. I'm now doing the commentary for it. And I can tell you, there are so many kills that are being done simply by the corrosion damage that takes after the hits. For example, our Chun's in stealth, I lost the quantum radar and he still goes down. Or an Ares that I managed to hit and then he activates the shield and then he goes down from corrosion damage afterwards. It's perfect. <laughs> uh, this is exactly what makes this setup so interesting. Uh-oh. Shoot him, his name is. And he shoots me. See, and this is what I mean. I'm stay safe here. Boom. Boom. Well, wow, he's taking some sweet damage there. And boom. Boom. Kill. All right, let's reload those wasps and see if we can jump in one more time. Boop. Jump. Boom. 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 And it is a leeching leech robot right here. You see how he takes down? See that? This is only the corrosion right there. The only thing that was hitting was the corrosion that I basically did before. Like, boop, 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 boop. And he lost his last stand due to it. 2.7 million damage with only these corrosion weapons. And now, as promised, we're jumping into free fall here. And again, see that? Take a look at this, okay? He walks around the corner. And this just still happens all the time. Boom hit, boom hit. Second hit, perfect. Second shot was a perfect hit. The game did not consider it a hit. Quantum radar ticking. Boom. Perfect hit. No damage. Okay, that, was, that one somehow missed and the third one too. But there has been one out of three shots actually hitting the enemy. Only one out of three shots. That is really, really sad. Okay, we have the phantom here. Boom, boom, boom. And my kill. Nice. Good. He tried to walk back into safety, but it wasn't safety. It was his doom. I'm trying to wait for the kill moment here, but somehow I was too late. But look what is happening here with the leech. Boop, 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 boop. Corrosion kill. Dot effect. That's right. I was reloading the weapon, but um, yeah. By the way, Pixonic, in case you're seeing this, as I said, there is still a massive problem with the inaccuracy, especially related to lag on the Wasp Cannon. Um, it's, it's insane. Things that are moving fast, sometimes you just don't hit them at all. Here, there was two, three, four misses. How many missed shots were this? I mean, I'm killing him with a dot effect now, but look at that. Hit, no hit, hit, no, okay, one hit was a hit, and the others all no hits. This is insane. It's insane how much this weapon still misses. The first one was a hit and then hit, no hit, hit, no hit, hit, no hit, hit, no hit. What the heck? This is not how this weapon should operate. So, Pixonic, either you manage to get this thing working right with the hits or alternatively, if this is somehow hard to do, then just add another shot to the magazine. That you get, you have the same reload, but you have one more shot in the magazine or something. That you have at least a little bit more of the potential to actually do what you're supposed to. The weapon performs insanely bad due to its not hitting the enemy. Um, when it hits, it does really okay. It's not insanely good like some other weapons. It's no match for an atomizer. Uh, here it is. I add, I hit him once with a corrosion and the, the, uh, and the corrosion ticks him down through the shield. Um, so the weapon does well okay, let's say okay, when it's hitting and doing what it's supposed to. But if you have these shots where at more than half, 50% of your magazine just are simply ghost shells, then the weapon is doing insanely bad to the point where it's less than a light weapon. 
And uh, and that's where you were a uh, Pixonic. You need to step in and say, okay, it somehow is still not doing right. We uh, we do something with it, improving accuracy once more, or whatever it is that you are doing. Um, or alternatively, just giving it one or two more shots into the magazine to counter the missing shots. This is also a way to, you know, fix the missing shot problem, just giving it two more shots before it needs to reload. And, uh, and that would also work. But as you see here, when it hits, it does a good job. It does okay. And we've already gotten done a, a decent amount of kills here. Um, again, here, horrible, horrible lag. These lags are out of control. Look, there is a guy, and I know he's in the middle of the open, and this is why I'm jumping. And boop, simply teleports five meters ahead, therefore I only managed to score one hit. I was supposed to land three good hits before he makes it into cover, but he lags forward somehow. Oh man, the lags are out of control, Pixonic. Please fix the lags. The community is asking for this for years now. Can we please take care of this thing, thing that's really important, right? The legs. Here's a Leo, uh, and this guy has a lot of health, and we're shooting into his backside here, and now he's starting to heal. <laughs> I thought I could get him killed, but man, that thing has health. That thing has a lot of health. Unfortunately, I was out of range of the area of the Ao Chun, so I could only fire at the, at the Leo. Um... Yeah, so I guess I could have just walked f further. No hit, no hit. Now we hit, now we hit, now we hit. Okay, three hits. And why was that happening? Let's show this again. Because of lag. I activate quantum radar, I jump, I fire, shot, somehow goes over the enemy. Okay, maybe because he was climbing and then stopping. All right, second shot, boom. It, the second shot is aimed too high, even though the enemy wasn't moving, and then the enemy lag forwards, doesn't get a hit. My lord, the legs, you can't ever... You you, you have no ha no simple battle or encounter with no lags. There's like no encounters in the game where there is no lag going on. It's like, lag is an all constant now that is in every situation. Absolute horrible, horrific right now. Has never been as bad as it is right now. And uh, despite community asking and praying for lag fixes for f three years or two years now. And it's getting worse and worse by the day. Maybe, Pixonic, you should focus on that lag issue, Forge, and just drop everything else for a while. No new robot, no new weapon, no new content. Fix those damn lags because those are the most pressing issue in War Robots. By far. Alright, so, there's, these guys are fighting each other right there. Let's see if we can uh, get at least one of those kills. Nope, the other is a Titan. The other one is the big titan right there. Uh, and I'm trying to push, pull him out into the open by firing just into the wall. But this guy just isn't interested in coming out. Alright, so let's go for this titan then. He just spawned in. And it is a um, an Arthur titan out of his range. He's got 500 meters range and we got 600. I sped up the gameplay by four times and see how I'm shooting him the whole time. And now we're actually getting through the shield. Here we are. Boop. One of his shields is broken. The other one is still there. Sadly, uh... Yeah, I mean, he's already taken 50% of damage, but not enough. And now you see both titans are coming in on me from two different directions. And I had to somehow escape. And I did that by jumping through the gap. And then letting them fight it out. And then I come in from behind, steal that one kill, or actually, you know, just uh, grab it. And uh, and that's it. Boom. Let's see how much damage we've done here in this match. 2 million damage, 10 kills. It wasn't actually that much damage. It's more like we, uh, the fun kills, the kills that were done due to corrosion. Again, here, look at the accuracy of the weapon. We have a, a leech robot on the other side. Boom, hit. Boom, hit. Boom, hit. Okay, did you see that? Did you see- what the heck is going on? First shot. First shot is a perfect hit and it counts. Second shot counts too. Third shot hit, no count. Fourth shot hit, no count. You can tell that the weapon actually hits the robot. Boom. 
it hits the robot. Doesn't count. It hits the robot perfectly in the face. No count. Add two more shots to the weapon drum so the weapon actually does what it's supposed to. And now he's leeching. Now it doesn't look like we're doing damage, but we are still doing with a corrosion. This could be such a fun weapon and so good, but it's, um... It's actually just performing really bad due to these, uh, due to lag first off and due to, uh, you know, inaccurate, you know, missing shots somehow. And this after the, the weapon has been improved in accuracy, right? There has actually been an update that made the weapon more accurate somehow, but it still doesn't seem to have fixed uh, the missing shot issue. Uh, okay, the Ares there. I managed managed to make him use his shield there. Boom. 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 Yep. See? Three good placed hits and they all hit and the damage is okay. The damage is really in I I interesting. Not the best I've ever seen, but it's good enough to use the weapon and to make it do what it's supposed to do. Especially since there is some additional damage coming afterwards. With the, um, with the corrosion. I, but I still think that the corrosion could do a bit of, bit of a higher part of the damage, right? There still is a large part of the damage is the initial cannon hit. And, um, and while this looks fun and feels good to fire, um, because it, you get this immediate damage feedback by the enemy HP bar, um, at the same time, it would be more useful for the weapon's purpose, for the purpose of this corrosion weapon, if the corrosion part would be higher, right? This way, uh, the it had its purpose to counter all resistance robots much better. A Fenrir or a, a Phantom, a Leech, a Falcon, all those co resistant robots that you could bipe, you know, um, counter much better using this weapon. This is a Raven right there, or what is it? I don't know. But it took a lot of damage. There's a Fenrir. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, four shots were perfect hits, and the rest is just taking corrosion damage. Or maybe, maybe Pixonic uh, makes it so, that would also be an alternative, that the, uh, the initial shot, the cannon hit, is also considered corrosion, right? It's basically, it's that there's two types of corrosion done by the weapon. First, the initial shot is corrosion, and the second corrosion afterwards is also corrosion. This way, you could also make it so that this uh, weapon uh, does does the countering of resistant robots very effectively. It still wouldn't be as good as a brawler, like you would still lose every battle pretty much against a brawler in short range. Um, but against those resistant robots, you'd be really well off. Well set to defeat them. What is this? It's I think it's not a, an Ares, it's a... Yeah, that's a, um, a healer. What's the healing robot called? Not Mender. Uh, oh, is it the Men? No, not the Mender. Uh, the other one that can move around and switch. Ah, what's the name? I can't get the name right now. Ah. All right, let's focus that Titan up there and see how much damage we can do to a Titan. Ah, it's not. It doesn't look like that much, but if you take a look at how the damage still counts after you're done shooting, uh, it gets really inter interesting. Okay, boom, boom. Another Titan taking its place. Let's wait for uh, for this other Titan to fly again. And meanwhile, we're shooting down this Griffin. Do you really place shots? Nice, nice. Oh man, I, I like the style of this weapon. It has a, de a really good style with the cannon shots and the sound. And as I said in one of the last videos with the uh, Cerberus video, I wish there was a heavy version of Wasp. You could argue that Viper is the heavy corrosion weapon, but it's completely different, right? Viper is a whole different weapon. It bypasses energy shields, which the Wasp doesn't do. It has a whole different range set with 500 meters. Um, it fires completely different. The reload schedule is a completely different one that does not work at all with the uh, Wasp if you combine them both. 
if there was a heavy version of Wasp, that would be cool. But again, it, here it would be useful to fix the uh, the inaccuracy for all of those weapons, of course. And now there is a wonderful thing happening. It's such a funny situation. I'm going down to attack the leech now, okay? And then I have my last stand ticking. And during the last stand, I jump backwards and get kicked by the Arthur, okay? I now jump backwards with the last stand active. The Arthur activates its, its stuff ability or whatever it's called, the stump thing. And I get pushed super far back and look where I'm landing to. Look at that, okay? Boom! <laughs> and where I land, but directly on the face of the Ao Ming. This is such a random coincidence that he activates the ability while my last stand was taking, so I don't take the damage, but I get boosted away like crazy. Which, by the way, gets me an idea. This is how you could also try and reach the ship on Carrier, which we know now you can't reach it, but you could have tried this uh, also with the Arthur Titan boosting you the heck out of the way, right? Jumping with the Raven, then boosting the jump with the with the Arthur, and then double jumping uh, after the Arthur took down the 50% uh, mark or so, where it triggers another uh, Raven jump. So this way, you could probably have made it if making it onto the ship on Carrier would have been possible. Uh, unfortunately, that is not the case, though. Unfortunately, this isn't happening. Uh oh, someone is lasering me from somewhere. Okay. Oh no, oh I'm in trouble, oh I'm in trouble, he activated his shield later than I did mine. But thankfully I found a bit of cover here, to stand behind. And now now that all my weapons are reloading and I'm getting hit by two guys, uh, I'm in a bit of a situation here. But thankfully the last stand uh, saved us here. And yes, I am running last stand on the Ares now, I don't think it's that overpowered anymore after many many nerfs and now it's slower during the um, during the uh, ability use and all this um, yeah so in my opinion the Ares is a very powerful machine but no more the thing that you know kills everything on the battlefield like uh, leech or uh, our Chun currently does right and the leech is still a bit different because the leech is played as a full-on brawler you just, I, I don't know how you play the Leech, there's different ways, but I just run in with the Leech and play it as a one-hit brawler, pretty much. And, um, yeah. So my Leech usually dies relatively quickly still. Because I, I just want to rush with it. I just want to rush in and just kill three guys or attack th attack an entire team with it. And that's it. Here we're going for the Ao Ming with the uh, leveled uh, Avengers on the... Uh, uh, on the on the Aochun and yeah so very little chance for the Ao Ming here so let's see how we have done 3.7 million damage with the wasp cannon and that is most of what we have done maybe we've done like 700,000 with uh, with any other weapon but uh, 3 million that would still be with a wasp so it can perform well but it still is a bit unfortunate and, and disappointing when the when the weapon or demotivating maybe when the weapon doesn't do and it doesn't hit it just you know, somehow you're not hitting you're doing perfect shots and it's not on your end the problem somehow the weapon just misses uh, even though it looks like it's perfectly hitting the enemy and it maybe adding a slight maybe this would also be a way to fix it because the weapon does hit the enemy it just doesn't trigger the hit on the enemy maybe giving the weapon one meter splash radius maybe that would help so that the game detects the hit that would also be maybe a, a solution to the hitting not hitting <laughs> thing uh, but yeah, other than that, please, Pixonic, take care of those lags. It's getting out of control. Maybe with the fusion of iOS and Android, it has even become worse. I don't know, maybe this is hard to do or hard to encounter, but I think you guys should really focus on that. Because this is one of the most frustrating things about War of Us these days. And it would be cool if the lag would finally get be solved. Uh, you know, that, yeah, my vote <laughs> would get for sure. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for being with you. You guys are awesome. As always, Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.